Here's a toad we caught. Like a dang 14 incher right here off the bank. <laughs> Let's let her go. Gone. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven Turner. So, unfortunately, <laughs> You know, as being a fishing YouTuber, you always can't have things go your way. So right now we're sitting on the bank. We're fishing. You know, we've got five fish on the stringer, two toads. And undoubtedly I recorded everything in time warp. So for the past two hours that I've been fishing, everything that got recorded is in time warp, which means it has no audio and it's kind of sped up. Oh, so wanted to make y'all a banger bank fishing video, but you know, we're gonna try to salvage today. So I'm gonna play the clips in the background, but first and foremost, Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you're enjoying your day. Uh, appreciate you being with me. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. That was the goal for the year, but I don't think we're gonna hit it. Sadly, I know it sucks, but oh anyways if you haven't subscribed hit the red button down below it would mean a lot to me and my family if you love crafty fishing you're in the right place so i'm kind of just going to go over how i caught these fish and hopefully i can give you all a little bit of insight as i play the clips in the background because the clips don't have audio and all that good stuff as i was catching them so what we have going on right here we're under a little bridge right here all right now normally the bridge is probably the water is probably up to like here over there but with the six-year drawdown we actually have a rare occurrence that the water's down enough that you can actually come under the bridge and the fish so i'm going to put y'all back on the chest and i'll try to explain how i caught these fish i'm going to put uh the catches in the background then we'll show you the fish and i'll talk about the equipment and all that so base basically i call all my fish right through here now the reason these fish are here is because there's an old metal post there and there's an old metal post there so i was throwing out between these posts now it's like 15 foot deep out there so i was letting it go down and this was before the wind was blowing as hard as it is now <clears throat> so my jig would actually get to the strike zone but i'm actually gonna fish and talk at the same time so basically the setup i got i've got the five six one piece acc which you know i complained about acc for a very long time but the, i got this rod on black friday and the tip on this thing is super sensitive. Like my five foot rod is really good for skipping, but I could not feel anything on it. But this rod is amazing for casting. Now on the, the money end of the deal, we've got a monkey milk swim bait, the 1.5 inch swim bait and the 124 ounce jig head. I'm basically casting out there and I'm trying to let it fall about eight feet. And then I'm just granny crawling it. Granny crawling it. And as y'all see on the clips behind me as I'm talking, I mean, the, the quality of fish that we caught today is really good. Like, I didn't catch a whole limit or nothing like that, but we got two toads. And that's good enough for me from the bank because the honestly on lake mary there's not very many places to even fish on the bank much ha less have a chance to catch a crappie most of it's like cat fishing striper fishing you know a little bit of bass fishing if you walk the banks a lot but actually finding and catching crappie from the bank is very rare for this type of of lake because there's so many houses here that everybody owns something as far as I know, nobody owns this this bridge right here, but it is what it is, I guess. There's something down there that keeps getting me hung. 
Alright, we're probably gonna pop this off. See if we can get it back. So basically today we have tried pretty much any kind of technique you can think of you know casting has caught the most fish but i did catch one on a slip cork that was a pretty random catch because it was honestly just sitting out there and it went under as you can see from the fish right here the one we caught on the slip cork it just makes me sad that i was shooting a really good bank fishing video and didn't exactly check to make sure that my camera was on video it's my fault But you only have so much time to get out here and actually fish and I, I chose to hit the bank today versus in the boat where i know i'm gonna catch fish and it actually worked out for once because this isn't the first time i've tried this in the past couple months because i've been trying to catch a crappie off the bank for a couple months for you guys but it hadn't worked out until today and of course the camera wants to screw me over all right well it's time for me to pack up my stuff i gotta get back in the shop so i can get y'all's orders out here's a stringer we got right here on the bank right here in between these bridge pillars <coughs> but man i this makes me sick that i <coughs> all the footage doesn't have commentary but i hope you guys enjoyed uh use code winner to get 20 percent off your entire order on the website go get you some jigs that catch us some <laughs>